What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trev 2323. No, not Trevor 2323. I got a friend that called me Trevor 2323. Today we are going over the Imaginarium Powerhead. This powerhead is fully submersible and says it's for up to a 30 to 50 gallon aquarium. Now, you know, I bought this before we had to replace the uh, uh, Marineland 350. You see how the algae forming on there? I think it's pretty awesome. You know me, I don't mind algae because it's a living plant and it actually helps filter out the aquarium. Okay, you see the fish already have broken apart the bottom part of the thing, so we gotta put some water in there. And now also, I tell you all the time, they uncover the plates. They uncover the plates, they uncover the plates. I don't know why. Now these power heads are good for aeration if you need aeration in your tank. And what they do is these up tubes back here, see the up tube with the water and a couple bubbles coming out right there? Let's see if I get it closer, a couple bubbles only coming out. Boop, boop, boop. This looks like a lot, but I'm gonna put it on this side because this is the side with all the gravel still. If I put it over here, it won't do so much. And I could bury it. I mean, we've added rocks. Look how high these rocks are. And they pick up the rocks with their mouth and they move them over here. Maybe they like getting the undertone massage. I don't know. And look, at there's the placostomus right over there. Okay, so with this power head right here, let me get it out. It says, read all instructions. Yeah, okay. All right, let's get it opened up right here. I'll put it down right here so everybody can see it. This is all my projects I'm working on, on top of a brand new washer. All right, what do we got here? This is the air controller, and this is so nothing gets sucked up the bottom of it. Okay, the air controller, and nothing gets sucked up on the bottom of it. Oh, there's another hose right there. Check it out, eh? All right, let me get this out right here. Stand you up right there. All right, this right here is just gonna go on the bottom of this right here. This can suction on the back of the tank if you want to. This is where the water is gonna shoot out from. So I would venture to say that will be right there. And that's where the water is gonna shoot out from. Now this rubber piece right here, let me show you this. This rubber piece actually should come off. Bam, right there. Because that's where the, this air hose is gonna get on. This air hose right here goes on the top of this right here yeah let me try to get it on there because this is what's going to cause the aeration in your tank this hose is going to stick out of your tank but i can't get it in there ah, sorry i just licked it Alrighty. now this right here is the air, air hose is gonna uh the come through here the bubbles are gonna come through here the air and it's gonna bubble up through here and this is, sits in the uh, tube and it shoots the air out. So let's go ahead and we'll fix it right now. All right, so here's the cool thing. Look at all the bubbles that were coming out of this. So all these bubbles that was sharing with this right here, I'm gonna leave this tube in here cause now I can shut that part of it off and all those bubbles would direct to the other tube. But this is the power head right here. This is my uh harbor freight compressor so the the power head is actually gonna sit on this inside of here boom like this i'll put it out that way it's it's sucked up against the wall right there so it's not gonna move but look at that the top part of this fell off so let me go find the top part of this so i found that it just fell off right here this is there's actually a sponge in here it should be for like an air filter but uh, I'm gonna plug the power head in. Hey, can you hold the camera right here so you can, people can see the front of the power head? Just hold it like this. So people can see the front of the power head when I turn it on. All right, watch, I shut the whole thing down because I got like a six strip plugged into everything over here. Wow, look at that. You see that? Oh, look at all the dirt it brought up with it too. <laughs> well, it'll filter all that down, but it did filter out a plume of dirt that was inside the inside it so uh oh now i don't see the air no more so let me figure out what's going on here dum 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 i put my hand in front of it and it is still on so it's still moving the water a whole lot 
So now what I have to do is figure out with this right here, if this is adjustable, which is, yeah, okay, you screw this out right here. And you'll see when you screw it out, it lets more air in. And there you go right there. You see all the air and all the bubbles coming out? Now look at that one. That one's just bubbling up really good. But that's causing a commotion in the water where that's causing the disturbance in the water. It's making a current in the water. And on top of making the current in the water, it's aerating the water. You see all the aeration that's creating? It's aerating the water. And not only that, it's all this right here. It's making this a better filter. It's making this a better filter. I picked that one up from one of the big box stores and it was like $20. But uh, I wanted to get it on this koi tank for more movement in this koi tank. Uh, we do have a lot of movement anyways from that that's brand new and it's causing really a lot of water movement right here. We got some algae growing right there. Like I said, the only thing is the, the fish keep uncovering that. That's meatball right there. Look, he lost all his color. Meatball is getting old, he's getting old. But these are the rest of the koi right here. How old would you venture to say the koi are, love? Three. Three years old. Okay, so now what I said about this one right here, see all the air bubbles coming out of that? I left it in the water right now because I could follow the hose, which I have down here, and then I could shut it off. Now that hose is actually, I gotta find the color. To, I, uh, th this hose, air hose right here, I could shut this one completely off now. Should be righty tighty right and once i shut this one completely off I'm trying to shut it completely off you'll see these bubbles right here stop if it gets completely off am i doing the right yes i'm doing the right one oh oh okay it's cut, shutting off it's shutting off it's shutting off there it's completely off right now and so now this one right here i could open up and there'll be more bubbles coming up from this one right here. Because on this air pump, this righty tiny lefty loosey, do you see the bubbles picking up over here already? So that's more aeration that's gonna be coming through that one right there. And if that were an undergravel tank, that'll be working a lot better. Either way, I wanted to show you this Imaginarium pump because they do use well, these these power heads i will tell you this they use more aeration i mean more power than these right here this probably is a five watt air pump that one's a five watt air pump i venture to say that's a 10 watt air pump that air pump i have on running on two tanks that one i have running on one tank and this power head is about 20 watts for that power head but with the filtration no, actually 12 watts, I think 12 watts. But with the aeration, I'm gonna be getting from this whole tank right here. All these are connected all the way. I think it's gonna be worth it and worth the money. All right, talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And then we'll catch up with Little Squishy in a little bit. This is, he's about five year old. Uh, uh, he's supposed to be a red belly paku. This is my wife's baby. He gets mad when I come up around my wife. He gets like super mad at me, but we bought him. He was the size of a dime when we got him. Talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share.